Good evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page. It's Friday, the 28th of April, and I'm Curtis Moore. In our headlines, Nevis Females beat St. Kitts Females in T20 Encounter, and in our feature for this evening, Masters defeat New Vision in practice game. We'll take this break, and I'll be right back. Well, I'm back and we start with cricket. As part of the ongoing T20 female cricket series being hosted by the Leeward Islands Cricket Association, the Nevis team travelled to St. Kitts on Thursday, where they engaged the St. Kitts team at the Connery Grounds. Information received in the case that Nevis batted first and got to 140 in the allotted 20 overs, and the home team could have only manage 88 for 7 in response. St. Kitts will now take on Antigua and Barbuda in the final match, while well, they should have taken them on earlier today. The Leeward Islands team will be announced shortly to participate in the upcoming WICB Regional Female Cricket Championship, with, which boards off in St. Kitts on May the 8th. In terms of that particular game too, just to let you know, Melissa Clark got 33, Rosa Leibold got 30 not out, and uh, Davonique Maynard got 23. Rosa Leibold also picked up three wickets as well. Further field play was called early on day two in the match between the Weeks 11 and the West Indies Academy team being played as part of the ongoing Headley Week series. The Weeks 11 got to 401 all out with Kevin Sinclair being the fourth batsman to go past 50, hitting 86. The West Indies Academy at the rain break was at 89 for two with Kirk McKenzie 50 not out. We'll take this break and I'll be back with our feature for this evening. Mm. I miss, are you okay? I'm um, just out of me. All the pain going down to me. Um. Someone call the ambulance. In the event of a health emergency, dial 469 3333. Good day, you've reached the Alexandra Emergency Line. This is Nurse Hanley speaking. What is your emergency? For health emergencies, Dial 469-3333. That's 469-3333. Well, I'm back and tonight we feature cricket. On Sunday, 23rd April, the Masters cricket team engaged the New Vision cricket team in a practice encounter at the Virgin Grounds. This in preparation for the upcoming Leeward Islands Masters cricket tournament. The New Vision team batted first and got to 62 in their allotted 10 overs as the game started late. Masters got to the total for the loss of two wickets. 
four wickets, that is. Summarized scores, New Vision, 62 for two in 10 overs. Carlin Smith, 21. Peter Charles, 16. Deshaun, 15. Sterling Marshall, 1 for 6. Demari, 1 for 17. Masters, 63 for four in eight overs. Colin Wallow in 24. Sterling Marshall, 20. Wendell Wallace, 12. Not out. Peter Charles, 2 for 8. Alan Ward, 1 for 16. Deshaun, 1 for 28. Another, another encounter has been scheduled between the two teams for this coming Sunday, 30th April. Well, we got a bit of the action from that game.
And as I wrap up, we go to football and over to St. Kitts, where SKNFA media representative Andrew Huey gives an update on the SKNFA leagues. Shaveen Boston scored a brace and helped deliver a 2-1 victory for St. Peter's FC over fast cash saddlers in SKNFA Premier League action on Friday in St. Paul's. Boston scored at the stroke of halftime in the second minute of stoppage time and at the beginning of the second half in the 48th minute to give his side a 2-0 lead. Sadler's Evans Roy Barnes scored from the penalty spot in the 68th minute. Sadler's had scored twice but the goals were overturned by the referee. Shaquille Barzi of St. Peter's was sent off in the 65th minute after receiving his second yellow card of the match. In the night's other match, defending champions Estel Horses and Pauls United drew nil all with Sol Island Auto Supplies Connery FC. After losing their first match of the season last week, Flow 4GK and Rockets lost two more points when they drew 1 1 with security forces in Sandy Point on Saturday in the Eskenefe Premier League. Raheem Davis scored for Keon in the 35th minute, but Daniel Francis equalized in the 60th minute for security forces. This is considered a good result for security forces who are yet to win a match but earned two points in their last two matches. A result of a strategy their coach, Sinclair Morris, said they have been working on. Well, um, for the past weeks we've been working on our strategy in terms of having a mid block and a low block. And you see coming to fruitful in this game where we, we settle in the low block and mid block and try for the counter attack. Uh, we don't want uh, that's okay. I tell the fellas, just continue, continue, continue. In the first half, yeah, we had them. At least one or two goals we could have scored. Unfortunately, we missed them. But as the game goes along, we get more confidence, more confidence. And as, we, as this is our third game where we play good, great football, just that we need to work on the attacking part of it now. Once we work on the attacking part of it for, for the next coming up games or the second one, I think we do good. But overall, I'm satisfied with the team. I'm proud of them, very proud of them. Assistant coach of Keon, Valentine Anthony, said this was an off game for Keon. Well, um, I would say um, kudos to the police, they come out and they executed their plan. Um, to my team, we, we tried our best, but in the end, it just didn't work out for us. I think we just had a, a bad game, a half, half game. Um, hopefully, this is our first and last half game, and just look ahead to move forward for next week against Sunny Point. Meanwhile, MFCR Old Road United Jets defeated Jones Group Sandy Point 4-1 to inch closer to the top of the table. Scoring for Old Road, Nequan Brown scored in the 4th minute, Kendall Leibert in the 50th minute, Curvis Collins in the 64th minute and Tequani Williams in the 84th minute. The lone goal from Sandy Point came from Tondre Rouse in the 68th minute. Coach Alexis Morris of Old Road said they came into this match to send a statement and they did just that. Oh, well, um, tonight I must tip my hat to my guys. I think we came out from the very onset and we wanted to send a statement. And I believe that we would have done that. It's unfortunate that uh, we only end up scoring four. We should have scored a barrage of goals tonight. But we are grateful for the victory nonetheless. And we just got to continue as we have one more game in the first one. We, we are targeting 23 points. We're sitting nicely at 20 right now. And we just want to come back out against Connery in the final match there in the first round and ensure that we secure 23 points. With Saturday's results, Old Road are just three points off the top, with Keon Rockets leading on 23 points. Bath United edge former champions Rams Village Superstars 1-0 on Sunday at the Warner Park in Round 1 action of the Eskin FA Premier League. The goal coming from Chris Brown in the fifth minute. Dajal Kelly of Village was sent off after receiving a second yellow card in the second half of the match. Meanwhile, in the second match of Sunday's doubleheader, Newtown United came from behind to draw their match with Hobson Enterprises Garden Hotspurs 1-1 in the dying moments of the match. Spurs had taken the lead in the 19th minute from a Jashon Jeffers strike, but Keandre Hodge scored a header from a corner kick in the fifth minute of stoppage time. Newtown four Shaheem Prentice said the team dug deep to get the equalizer. Coach Stephen Brown of Spurs said the result was not what they were looking for, but said the team played well for most of the match. And that's our package for this evening and indeed for the week. I am Curtis Morton reminding you that you're going to watch sports if you're not fit. But to play sports requires fitness, diligence, and sacrifice. Have a good night and a great weekend. <music>